So, food is an integral part of Thai life and culture. And long before I gave in to watching expats talking about living in Thailand, I was watching channels about Thai food. In this video, I'll look at who has become my go-to channels for food-related content with a Thai and Asian flavour. As always, I'll leave a link for each channel in the description box. Remember, if you like the video, please hit that like button and maybe even subscribe. Also, if you're looking for channels on particular issues of Thailand, pop a note in the comments and maybe I'll make a future video on that topic. Now, no video on food vloggers, particularly involving Thai food, would be complete without mentioning Mark Wiens. So let's talk about him first. Everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Bangkok, Thailand, and tonight I am at Talat Rot Phai Rachadab. Mark is based in Bangkok, and the channel follows him and sometimes his wife, their son, and Mark's friends or fellow vloggers traveling around trying different food dishes and cuisines. Based in Thailand, Thai food is a real focus on his channel, although he does produce video series on the different parts of the world he visits. Mark's known for the passion and excitement he shows when talking and eating the dishes he tries. In particular, his reaction to really good food, which is often now parodied oh yeah. by others okay. online. That spice braised aroma of the beef. Mm. His tagline, my pet, my gin, translated to, if it's not spicy, I'm not eating it. And he loves his spicy hot dishes. He also has a separate channel, more tailored to travel, where he shows the places he stays at and the food eaten during the travels, such as airplane food. The next two channels aren't Thailand specific, but are food travellers who journey the globe looking for interesting cuisines and good food. And sometimes the two aren't actually the same thing. But these guys have made really good videos whilst in Thailand and wider Asia, so make it onto this video. First up is Strictly Dumpling. This channel follows Mikey Chan in travelling the world in search of tasty dishes. Hey guys, Mike Chan here in Seoul, South Korea. Of course, every city I go to... Mikey is based out of the US, although tends to focus on Asian cuisine and countries, with really good video series in Korea, Singapore and Japan, as well as in Thailand. He uses the walk and talk approach mostly when out of a restaurant, giving a more informal feel to his videos. Whoa, that mango is juicy. This thing's got so much going for it in one single bite. That's how I'm feeling right now. Um, God, what do you even start with? I got three plates. Whilst he mostly eats in restaurants or at markets, he does occasionally do videos where he'll try out McDonald's or 7-Elevens in different countries around the world. And the instant noodles seems to be on this side. These are 7-Eleven select instant noodles better than most hotel breakfast. Not even joking. He's done some collaborations, having vlogged with Mark Wings and others. He also has a few channels, of which one follows his activities rather than just simply food although there is usually some food involved somewhat. Here you'll see videos showing experiences on flights, hotels, and more general travel elements. Next up is the Best Ever Food Review Show. This follows Sunny on his travels around the globe in search of interesting food and cuisine. Whilst he does normally look for tasty food, he does also like to show people some of the really unusual foods that people eat around the world sometimes taking him to some really out-of-the-way places. Is there still poison in Things here? such as blood-related dishes or unusual animals are known to appear okay. from time to time. For me. Sometimes he'll try a food challenge style video too. So he's always up for pushing himself to the limit. Sonny's videos are always entertaining and in good humour. He's particularly good at joking around with appearing seemingly naturally from the side of the shop or from nowhere. Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, I'm going to try what many consider to be... Based in Vietnam, oh Sonny has a team which helps him plan, shoot and edit the videos. I like that idea, except I'm going to eat the whole shrimp. I'm going to squeeze it out of the tail. Look at that. This is the bite people have been waiting for. Here we go. He's also done a collaboration with Mark in Bangkok. Mm. Oh. Oh. One important thing to know about him is his mortal enemy, or Achilles heel. He hates cucumbers. Oh, it's so gross. Ew. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. See you next time. Uh, a peace. peace. Oh. The a peace. peace. A peace.
The next few channels are specific to Thailand and the food there. The first is a Thai vlogger, which you could translate to Peach Eats Anything or Peach Eats Everything. Now in Thailand there are lots of food vloggers. After all, Thais love their food. But Peach's videos, although in Thai, can often remove the issue of the language barrier because some things you just need the visual element to. Peach was a professional eater for Thailand and his videos always show him eating a lot of food, but good food and not in a speedy or messy way. Early on in his channel, his videos captured the surprise of people around him when he ate bowl after bowl or plate after plate of food. In more recent years, Peach has become too well known to continue that style of video, so he's been focusing on trying menus at restaurants, often helping promote them and their food, whether it's a large food store, a backstreet restaurant or a large mall based restaurant. He has a huge following on YouTube with over 5.6 million subscribers, numbers on par with Mark Wings. The next channel is Darren B3. Darren lives in southern Thailand teaching English, although vlogs about Thai food. Darren's channel follows him and sometimes his family eating at Thai restaurants and markets. Here you'll often see real local Thai restaurants serving authentic dishes, together with his trips to markets, both local and in well-known tourist areas such as Hoi Hin. Finally, I've included the channel Bangkok69 in this video. Anyone familiar with this channel may be thinking, why this isn't a food channel? Those unaware of it, this channel consists of mostly continuous shot videos of places of interest such as famous tourist roads, shopping malls, and significantly to this topic, food markets and food courts. There is no vlogger present in front of the camera and no voiceover. Just straight filming, walking around the locations with vlogs lasting from 10 minutes to 2 hours. I'm including this channel because often we don't need or want anyone physically eating or talking about the food. Continuous shot video can make it feel like you're walking around the market or food court yourself. You have the sights and the sounds of the place. Panning across the stall counters, you get to see only the delicious food and, if a frequent visitor to Thailand, we live the feel of walking around these types of places, albeit without the smell. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. Please do click the like button and maybe even subscribe. So until next time, bye for now.